Report! Our main camp at Mount Ding Jun has been attacked. Led by Huan Zhong. No! What? This old man's a real thorn in our side. I'll take care of this. Son, look after things while I'm gone. Hey. Father, wait! I have most distressing news. General Shaho Yuan has been slain by the enemy officer Huang Zhang. Huh? What? Father. It can't be true. No! It's impossible. Just impossible. How could this happen? I imagine the men must be equally distraught at losing the general. This is no time for us to be continuing the fight. We must pull back and reform our defensive lines. Master Guo Huai, please make the necessary arrangements. Of course, we must do all we can to keep the men safe. Are you ready to go, Master Shaho Ba? Yes. I can't believe General Shaho Huan is dead. Yeah, it doesn't feel real. Well, things have taken a turn for the worse. Liu Bei has brought his entire army to invade Han Zhong. He must feel that he has a chance at seizing it after defeating Yuin. Hmm, you're much calmer than I expected, given the circumstances. Shaho Yuan gave his life to put us in this situation. We cannot afford to fail him. We will make our stand in Hanjiang and meet the impending attack by Liu Bei's army. Sima Yi. I want you to inform me immediately if you notice any movements in Jing province. Of course, my lord. Liu Bei appears to have taken up position on Mount Dingjun. We must thoroughly defeat him and seize control of Han Zhong. 
Our Lord seems rather tense. It's not completely the same, but it reminds me of one castle. I have only come this far thanks to the support and sacrifices of so many around me. I must make my grand dream a reality. Zhao Zhao, I cannot allow you to control Han Chong. For the people and for all my friends, I must defeat you! Now, take defensive positions! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! There is an ill wind blowing across the stage. Driven from the home of my ancestors. But my path is not at an end just yet. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang De. Your skills are simply magnificent! Report! Ban Castle has been surrounded by Guan Yu's forces. Everything is going exactly as I planned. As such, we no longer have any need for Han Zhang. <laughs> I see what you're up to. Most impressive, Master Cao Cao. Using Han Zhang as bait to lure Guan Yu. The battle for Han Zhang is just beginning. Cao Ren, I want you to take Man Chang and Pang De to assist the efforts at Fan Castle. Yes, my lord. We shall put a stop to Guan Yu's momentum. Guan Yu is known as the God of War. We will have to give our very best to defeat him. I must give my all, much like Master Shaho Yuan did. Shaho Dun. We must also head for Fan Castle as soon as our preparations are ready. No, Cao Cao. You need to rest. You were forced to quickly traverse a great distance between Han Zhang and Perfei, fighting all the while. Even you must be exhausted after all that. Shaho Dun. Yuin said so himself. You mustn't push yourself too hard. We shall put an end to this battle in Jing province. Let us go forth and reward Cao Cao with reports of victory and serenade him with songs of success. Very well. I shall leave it up to you then. This time, we will slay the god of war and tilt the balance of power in our favor amidst this chaotic land. Guan Yu's advance is even faster than I anticipated. 
We are allied with Ooh to take him down, but they may try to back out depending on how the battle goes. We must prevent that from happening at all costs. Our first step should be to make it easier for them to take Jianlin, so they're encouraged to make a move. It will take a bit more time before our main unit can arrive from Hanjiang. Therefore, we should go and lead the defense of Fan Castle until it does. Yes. If we aid Fan Castle, we can stop Guan Yu's advance and encourage Wu to make its move. Come, we must leave for Jing at once. I have gathered the reports from our men, but it appears Guan Yu has conquered most of Jin province. I can see why he is called the God of War. We cannot allow him to move on Xu Chang. We must hold him off at Fan Castle. I couldn't agree more, Master Cao Ren. However, the men are cowering in fear due to this development. How can we get them to fight? Why is Pang De serving in the vanguard? He may have a few victories under his belt, but he's still new to this army. His cousin, as well as his former master, Ma Chao, are now serving Liu Bei. Do you think he's planning to hand us over to Guan Yu? I think you might be right. I hear that Ho Yin, who is in charge of Wen Castle, has been using Guan Yu to encourage the peasants to rebel. Which means... Is it your intent to incite discontent and suspicion amongst the men? Surely you both know that is grounds for treason. M Master Yu Ji, it's just that we take exception to the promotion of Master Pang De. We're up against the God of War and... Watch your tongue! If your words lead to a breakdown in order among our ranks, I shall execute you where you stand. Please! Please forgive us! Wait! Master Yu Jin! Their words are not without merit. I have only recently joined Master Cao Cao's army. It is only natural they don't trust me with leading the vanguard in the campaign against Guan Yu. Furthermore, Master Shaho Yuan gave his life for this battle so that we could defeat Guan Yu and unite the land. As such, I am prepared to give my life in this battle should the need arise. Forgive me, Master Pang De. I had no idea you took this so seriously. We vow to defend Fan Castle and lead our forces to victory! Thank you. Together, we shall defeat the God of War, Guan Yu. <laughs> Most impressive, Master Eugene and Master Peng De. You actually managed to use the men's discontent to motivate them instead. We have prepared reinforcements. That should be enough to close down the path from Yi Shui Gate to Shu Chung for a while. Thank you, Master Yuxin. That will guard our rear flank and allow us to focus our efforts on Fan Castle. We find ourselves in a less than ideal situation here. However, we must slay Guan Yu in order to tip the scales in our favor. That is how our Lord can achieve his long-held desire to bring peace to the land. I agree. Let us go and help our allies while working to defeat Guan Yu. To battle! 
We must serve as the shield that protects Jing province. First, we must capture Fan Castle. That will enable us to slay Guan Yu's son, Guan Ping, who is in charge of his defense. Guan Yu is on the front line. Determined to stop us. I expect this to be a difficult fight, but we must emerge victorious. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Mighty foe. But I am the son of the God of War! I will stand my ground! Keep your focus, everyone! My father entrusted us with the defense of Fan Castle. We must protect it with our lives! <laughs> I want to get these supplies to the front line, but it's just too far away. In that case, start by sending supplies to Jotsong in my castle. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! Fan Castle has fallen, but this is not the end. The enemy appears to have pulled back. Their motives concern me. But at least we have captured the castle. The enemy cringes in fear before Pang De. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! Hong De and his men managed to hold off Guan Yu's fierce assault. However, 
Fan Castle was inundated with water due to Guan Yu's flood attack. The land of Jing is a natural fortress. We can't afford to lose it. It is vital to the future of Wei. Indeed. I will. Open up a path for us. Master Panda? Then you... We cannot protect our land if we are pulling back from the enemy. I will show you the soul of a warrior. That is very well said. Master Pong De, we leave this in your hands. As you wish. For honor! And for duty! I suppose I can... My Our only hope is to surrender. There is no way we can defeat a navy of 800,000 men. No. Their figure must have been a bluff. I doubt they even have half of that number. Even still, that is more than enough to swallow our forces whole. Besides, Cao Cao has the Emperor in his custody. We will be seen as traitors to the Han. My lord, think of your subjects throughout Jiandong. For their sake and ours, we must surrender. Master Zhang Zhao, Cao Cao may have the emperor in custody, but that does not make Cao Cao himself the emperor. He is simply another Dong Zhuo. As such, we cannot just surrender to such a man. That choice would do more harm to our people. You have heard our opinions on the matter. What do you think, Master Jigu Liang? I believe there is only one possible path you can take. Join forces with my Lord Liu Bei, and together we will defeat Cao Cao. Are you mad? You barely have 1,000 men to your name. What good can you do against Cao Cao's army? There is no sense in concerning ourselves with the issue of troop numbers right now. We have Master Liu Bei's leadership and charisma. 
and my wisdom. If we add to that the courage and the intellect of the army of Wu, we can defeat Cao Cao. Your intellect? Just how big a fool do you take us for? That's enough. We are not likely to come to an immediate decision. Let us take a break for now. We shall wait for Zhou Yu's return and then reconvene. You're dismissed, everyone. Must be hard on our lord. Everybody says whatever's on their mind and then he has to make the tough decisions. Lin Tong. He served the Sun family along with his father, Ling Cao. However, Ling Cao was slain in battle by Huang Zhu's officer, Gang Ning, at Xiaku. Ling Tong's hatred for Gan Ning continued, even after Gan Ning was made a member of Wu. When up against Cao Cao's army, Ling Tong could not stop thinking about Gan Ning's presence. Well, I could see making a case for either fighting or surrender. I'll do whatever our Lord decides. My Lord. I still do not know what choice I should make. I do not wish to surrender. Yet, if we go to war and fail, then the results will be disastrous. If I think of my people, surrender may be our best option. Everyone is scared of Cao Cao. They are too focused on themselves and their family, as well as the future of Wu. However, consider this for a moment. What would happen if you were to surrender? Us warriors might be allowed to serve in Cao Cao's army. But what about you, my lord? At best, you'd be forced to live in exile where you would live out your life in obscurity. Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it, Lu Su. However, I do not care what happens to me. I must decide what is best for everybody and for U. Father, brother, what would you have done in my situation? I can tell that you're troubled. Lord Sun Chuan. Thank you. Forgive me, but I overheard you talking just now. I remember something that Lord Sun Tse told you once. He said to turn to Lord Zheng Zhao for domestic affairs and to Lord Zhou Yu for foreign ones. It's difficult for one person to try and take on everything alone, but if you work together, Lord Zhou Yu is searching for answers. I think you should have faith in him and wait to see what happens. Thank you. You are right. As always, this is not something I should be sitting here worrying about on my own. I shall listen to everybody's feelings on the matter in hopes of arriving at our best way forward. What are we going to do, Zhou Yu? We are warriors of Wu. Surrender should be the last thing on our minds. Yes, I agree. I never considered surrender to be an option. However, even counting Liu Bei's army, we only have 50,000 men. There is no way we can overcome Cao Cao with such a small fighting force, no matter what strategies we devise. Zhou Yu? I had thought that the famous master Zhou Yu would have a little more confidence. You must be Zhuge Liang. May I help you with something? Nothing in particular. I just thought that you and I could have a little chat. In this time of great crisis, you appear to be taking on the fate of your entire kingdom on your shoulders. What is it that makes you do that? 
Let me ask you, why is it that you serve Master Liu Bei? He is a man constantly on the run, with no land to call his own. That is not what I would consider a lord worth serving. I see. I understand now what you are saying. Then, I suppose that is your answer to the question I posed. Yes, it is. I see in Master Sun Chuan the qualifications of a man fit to rule the land, much like you see in Master Liu Bei. Additionally, he carries the hopes and dreams of his family and friends that have fallen along the way. I understand. Then, all we need to discuss right now is how to overcome Cao Cao. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. I've yet to devise a strategy to defeat Cao Cao. I doubt that very much. I am sure you have already thought of several possibilities, Master Zhou Yu. I am sure, for example, that you have considered using a fire attack. You are a terrifying man, Zhuge Liang. I can see why they call you the Sleeping Dragon. A fire attack would help our cause considerably, if successful. By burning his ships, we could prevent Cao Cao from ever crossing the Shangjiang. However, the winds are quite weak at this time of year. I doubt we could expect the flames to spread properly. Is that so? However, Master Zhou Yu, I wonder if you have noticed that the winter this year has been unseasonably warm. They say that the winds over the Shangjiang change at such times. It is said that a southeasterly breeze blows under such conditions. The wind would be in the direction of Wu Lin, where Cao Cao's forces are encamped. What? Are you certain about that? The vicissitudes of fate, the lay of the land, the united hearts of the people. All the elements are lining up in our favor. Master Zhou Yu, now is the hour when we must combine our strength and wage war against Cao Cao. Zhou Yu, if what he said is true, it could be our chance at victory. Hmm. On one hand, it is a plot that relies on the fickle nature of the winds. But if it could open a path forward for us, we might even be able to beat Cao Cao. Zhou Yu, thanks for coming. Currently, we are divided into two camps, surrender and resistance. I would like to hear what you suggest. Very well, here is what I think. Cao Cao's army is large, but it includes former soldiers from the armies of Yuan Chao and Jing province. I suspect there are problems with leadership and morale. It's an army overly reliant on sheer numbers. It's not a cohesive unit like most fighting forces. Furthermore, Cao Cao's army is not used to fighting on the water, which gives us a decisive advantage. They are also traversing the Shangjiang in the middle of winter. I imagine many of them have taken ill as a result. Cao Cao's army is not invincible. An opening for us to attack will surely present itself. Therefore, given these facts, it is my opinion. We should go to war with Cao Cao. Wha what? Zhou Yu, have you lost your mind? Zhou Yu, do you really think we can defeat Cao Cao? Yes, based on Zhuge Liang's advice, I think we have found a way to overcome Cao Cao's superior numbers. You're crazy! We'll be slaughtered in an instant! Master Zhang Zhao, this is not a choice between surrender or resistance. It's a choice between Cao Cao and our Lord. Which man will emerge victorious over the land? 
I refuse to accept Cao Cao as that man. I side with the ruler of Wu, Master Sun Quan. What? Zhou Yu. My, my lord. My lord. I have made my decision. Wu shall join forces with Liu Bei and defeat Cao Cao. From this day forth, I shall consider those who oppose this course of action to be traitors to our cause. The time for the final battle is upon us. Everyone, lend me your strength so we may create a new future for U. <sighs> I had a feeling it would come down to this. Although, who would want to surrender rather than fight? Watch me, father. I promise to earn enough valor in this battle for both of us. Master Sun Quan, I must express my gratitude to you for agreeing to form this alliance with us. I should be the one thanking you. I am honored to be your ally in this battle, Master Liu Bei. And I believe this is your sister, Lady Shang Xiang. I am delighted to see you again, my lady. I am happy to see you as well, Lord Liu Bei. Let us put our best effort forth in this battle. As much as it shames me to admit it, I'm afraid my forces are small in number. We may not be as much help as you had hoped. We will do what we can, of course. Master Leo Bei, we would never stand a chance at victory without your help. Thank you for agreeing to stand with us. Excuse me. But I must be taking my leave. I have to see to the battle preparations. Of course. I will see you again shortly. Together we must bring judgment to Cao Cao. Our showdown with Cao Cao approaches. We must go back and check our preparations again to make sure nothing has been missed. <laughs> The closer we are to the enemy's ships, the more potent the fire attack will be. Huang Gai will pretend to defect to get close to them. In order to make this defection convincing, we will need to give Huang Gai a beating in front of the enemy spies. I have gone over the details with him. Now we just need to carry out the plan. Go with Tsai He and Tsai Zhong to Huang Gai's side. What? Master Huan Gai is going to be executed. I need to be there.
they're starting the execution of Master Huang Gai? I still can't believe it! supposed to be my friends. Uh, this is how I'm treated. That's it. I've had enough of this place. Oh, you pain me, Master One Guy. Master Cao Cao would respect you. Wow, somebody even lazier than I am. Marvelous. You fight with strength as well as cunning. Looks like I'm on a roll. Mm. Excellent. Keep it up. Xiai He has fallen for the bait. Master Hawk Guy has begun his preparations. We need a hundred thousand arrows for the final battle. How are we ever going to find so many? If it proves difficult to gather the requisite arrows, then we will simply have to take them from the enemy. I will send out a ship to aggravate the enemy. Any arrows they shoot at us will then become ours. I've been told to expect you. Come on, get aboard the ship. Now, here we go. I just hope this works. This should do it. Now, everyone, attack all at once! The enemy! The enemy is attacking! Fire everything we've got! <laughs> that should do it. Brave warriors of South South forces, thanks for the arrows! What?